Hi, I'm Keith Fabrowski. Welcome to another Delta Scientific pre-construction design video, where we talk to you about vehicle barrier systems before you specify and install those so you can get the best bang for the buck for your client. Behind me, we have our DSC 207S high security vehicle barrier that's M50 rated to stop a 15,000 pound truck at 50 miles an hour. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the differences between an electromechanical vehicle barrier and a hydraulically operated vehicle barrier. This unit here is hydraulically operated. Systems from Delta Scientific and throughout the industry have traditionally been hydraulically operated. As of recent years, in the past decade, electromechanical technology has grown in demand. Delta Scientific offers both electromechanical and hydraulic systems. But there's vast differences between these systems and it's important for you to know what the differences are so you can pick the best for your client or your facility. Hydraulic systems are incredibly robust. Think of heavy equipment on your job site. Backhoes, excavators, graders, they're all hydraulic. They have an incredible amount of lifting force. They work great in rain, sleet, snow, or mud. And you can practically bury the system in water before there's an issue. Electromechanical systems, on the other hand, are a little more tedious, where you have an electromechanical actuator that needs precise variables to position the barrier. Therefore, it's of paramount importance that you keep the barrier dry and proper drainage, so that way there is no possibility that the barrier will fill with water. Delta Scientific systems are sealed and waterproof to an IP65 rating. So when there's some submersion from a storm, as long as that water is cleared out soon, there'll be no problem. Preventative maintenance is key here. Likewise, another difference, the mechanical ability of your technicians to, to work on these systems. Hydraulic systems use very basic hydraulic components that can be found at a local tractor supply style store if you need to, if you have a location that's very rural. Contrarily, electromechanical systems typically use more high tech, a little bit harder to find components that can be quickly shipped out from Delta Scientific with a day's notice. However, your technical ability of your staff needs to have programming ability and the use of a laptop to plug into that electromechanical system and be able to diagnose any troubleshooting or issue that you may have. Hydraulic systems are a little more cut and dried using typical toolkit you might find in the back of a service truck. You can typically repair a hydraulic system and have it up and running quicker. Electromechanical systems do have their pros. For example, they're typically a little bit quieter. They're typically a little more environmentally friendly for your clients that have issues with any kind of fluid. There's no hydraulic fluid in an electromechanical system whatsoever. If you have issues with drainage or water tables, there's no risk of having any kind of contamination by any fluids on an electromechanical system. The important thing is to discuss with your client, and I feel more importantly, to talk to a Delta Scientific project manager to make sure that we weigh these pros and cons when you specify your next system. Please contact Delta Scientific's amazing project management team to discuss this. You can talk to a real person right away, like, subscribe to the video, and catch me on the next one that comes out weekly to talk about more pre-construction design that'll help you get the best value for your client or your facility. Thanks again.